Sawyer Fran. I wasn't actually planning on doing this project because one, it's only legal when you use your own Wi-Fi and two, even if it was legal, I don't see the fun in annoying people by blocking their Wi-Fi connection. So I was going to do another project, but then my friend asked me if it would be possible to make something like this. So in this video, I will show you how I made a small device with which you can create fake Wi-Fi connections and block any selected Wi-Fi connection. But before we start, I would like to say two things. One, I will only be using this on my own Wi-Fi. And two, I did not make the code or app. GitHub user Space Hun. Space Hun. Uh, anyway, um, I will place a link to his GitHub page in the description. So be sure to check that out. Um, I did make it portable. So if you find this video helpful, consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. And with that said, let's get into the video. The first thing you will have to do is to program the Wi-Fi module. First download the .bin file. The 1 megabyte one should be okay, if not try the 4 megabytes one. Once that's done, install the flasher. Of course, depending on if you have Windows 32 or 64 bits, select the right version and extract it from the zip file. Open the flasher, go to the configuration tab, click on the cog icon and select the .bin file you just downloaded. Now go back to the operation tab, connect the Wi-Fi module to your PC, select the COM port it's connected to and click on flash. Now just let it do its thing. Now that it's done, you can close the flasher and unplug the Wi-Fi module. I noticed that the pins of the Wi-Fi module take way too much space, so I'll just remove them. Connect the negative wire of the battery to the ground pin, the positive wire to the button, and the other wire from the button to the VIN pin. I also added this so it's easy to charge. If you did everything right, when you turn it on, you should see the blue LED from the Wi-Fi module light up. Lastly, I used some black tape to tie everything together. As you can see, it's very small and easily fits into my pockets. First connect to the Wi-Fi module. Then open the app which you can download from the App Store. Select your own Wi-Fi. 
then go to the attack tab. And as you can see when I turn on the authenticate, I lose connection with my Wi-Fi. What I'm going to show now is in my opinion way more fun. Go to the SSID tab and create some SSIDs. Now go back to the attack tab and turn on beacon. After a few seconds you will see a lot of new Wi-Fi connections. This one isn't even harmful, but I like it more than the other things you can do. There's also the settings tab. You can change the name, password and many other things in here. And just like that, we are at the end of another video. As always, if you found the video helpful, you can click here to subscribe.